In an emergency room at the hospital, a physician orders an intravenous delivery of 100 milliliters of 0.5% potassium chloride, KCL, for a patient suffering from low potassium levels called hypokalemia. Now, does a healthcare worker run to a supply cabinet and take out an IV bag containing this concentration of KCL? Well, that's not likely. It is more probable that the healthcare worker must make the proper solution using an IV bag of sterile solution and a stock solution of KCL, which is a more concentrated solution. Therefore, the healthcare worker must be able to do a dilution calculation. In this video, we will go over the dilution process and learn how to calculate the concentration. Don't forget to take a mini quiz at the end. Dilution is the addition of solvent to a solution in order to decrease the concentration of the solution. The opposite process of dilution is concentration. Concentration is the removal of solvent in order to increase the concentration of the solution. Wait, concentration to increase the concentration of the solution? Let's not get confused here. The concentration of the solution refers to the amount of substance in a defined space. Usually, a concentration process can be done by evaporating or boiling the solvent, assuming that the boiling does not affect the solute. In both dilution and concentration, the amount of solute stays the same because we either add or remove the solvent. This gives us a way to calculate what a new volume must be in order to make the desired concentration of solution. Now, from the definition of molarity, molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. We can solve for the number of moles of solute. Moles of solute is equal to molarity times liters of solution. We use capital M to represent the molarity and capital V to represent the volume. Now, the equation becomes the following. Moles of solute is equal to MV. Since the moles of solute does not change before and after the dilution process, the product MV must stay the same before and after the dilution. Using numbers 1 and 2 to represent the initial and final conditions, we have the following equation. M1V1 equals M2V2, also known as the dilution equation. Now test yourself by taking a mini quiz. Are you ready? Question 1. If 25 milliliters of a 2.19 molar stock solution is diluted to 72.8 milliliters, what is the final concentration? Using the dilution equation, we have the following. 2.19 molar times 25 milliliters is equal to M2 times 72.8 milliliters. Now solving for M2, we get 0.752 molar. Therefore, the concentration of the solution has decreased from 2.19 molar to 0.752 molar. To make 72.8 milliliter solution, 72.8 minus 25 is equal to 47.8 milliliters of solvent must be added to the stock solution. Question 2. If 665 milliliters of a 0.875 molar potassium bromide KBR solution is boiled gently to concentrate the solution to 1.45 molar, what will be its final volume? Using the dilution equation, we have the following. 0.875 molar times 665 milliliters is equal to 1.45 molar times V2. Now solving for V2, we get the final volume of 401 milliliters. Question 3. A 1.88 molar solution of sodium chloride, NaCl, has an initial volume of 34.5 milliliters. What is the final concentration of the solution if it is diluted to 
134 milliliters. Again, using the dilution equation, we have the following. 1.88 molar times 34.5 milliliters is equal to M2 times 134 milliliters. Therefore, solving for M2, the final concentration of the sodium chloride solution is 0.484 molar. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.